Toy Reviewer here, and today we're going to be looking at the Fuzzies Husky Dog. So before we get started, I'd like to thank Orb Factory for sending this to me to review. It looks really awesome. And with this set, we are going to be making our very own felt stuffed animal. And all we're going to need is some soapy water. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. So the first thing that we have in the box is our fuzzies form. It comes with this piece right here where you can see the front of the fuzzies. And then we have this piece which will go over the back. Next we have some blue fluff. We have some white fluff. We have two pom-poms. A felt triangle. Our clips. Three washers two eyes and a nose and then we have our spray nozzle our instructions then we're gonna need some scissors some dish soap and then we're gonna need a empty water bottle and a washer and a dryer so first we're gonna need to put some water in our water bottle then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some dish soap and put three big squirts in there and then what we're going to need to do is get our nozzle, place it on the bottle and screw it on. And then you can shake it up a little bit. So if you look at the instructions, they actually show us a picture of how much fluff that we're going to need for our steps. So each of these steps is going to be about the same amount of fluff. So we're going to get some white, open it up. Okay, so let's see. That looks like it's about the right amount. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the nose. So we're gonna need our little nose. And we're just gonna push it through to the other side, like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the two eyes. So we're gonna get some fluff, put the eye in, like that. And then let's get another one. Take an eye, place it in, just like that. So now we're gonna get our form. So before we start, I am going to want to make sure that all of these little hole pieces are punched out. So you see this one right here? That little piece wasn't punched out. So we're going to take all of those out. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take the nose, hold on to the nose like this, place it right there in the center like that so it comes out the other side for the nose. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray it with our water and you're gonna wanna make sure you have some paper towels down before you start spraying because this is gonna get really, really wet. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rub the fluff and make sure that we can still see that little peg for the nose. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the eyes, just pop them through. And then what we're going to do is we're going to spray it. And you cannot get this too wet. So use as much water as you can. Really make sure that it's nice and soaked on there. That way that when we keep doing these layers, they will stick together. So we got to make sure that this is really, really wet. And I think I lost my little nose. There it is. Got to make sure that we can still see those little pegs. And... Make sure that it's just filled up around this crease right here where we want the white fluff so it doesn't go over. And let's see, I need to put the eye right there. So here is our other eye and place it right here. Make sure this is pushed back so we can see it like that. Okay, so now we have the whole face on there. And we're gonna spray this. Again, you wanna make sure that you can still see all the pegs when you're done. So we need to be able to find that nose. Now we're gonna take our felt triangle and we're just gonna place it over these little posts. Then we're gonna take the washers and place them over the eyes and the nose and you will need an adult to help you with this because this part is a little bit hard. You want to make sure it's clicked in all the way 
And again, this part can get kind of hard because it's really hard to push it. There we go. So there's one. And the last one. Make sure that our nose is still facing the right way. Now let's add in some more fluff to fill in the face all the way around where we want the white to be on the face. Add a little bit more. Now we're going to take a piece of fluff and we're going to stretch it, stretch it really good and what we're going to do is we're going to lay it right across the stomach connecting the face to his tummy. I'm going to add a little bit more to the stomach to make sure it's all filled in right there. And I want to make sure that the head and neck area are really secure, so I'm just going to add a little bit more fluff. Stretch it across there. Maybe a little bit more. So I really don't want his head coming off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some white to the feet and the hands between this line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill the white in on the ears, just on the inside. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some blue and we're going to stretch it over the joints on the legs and then we're going to do the arms. So we're just going to get a little bit of blue fluff. I stretch it a little bit, place it on the leg area, and then soak it with some soapy water, and then just stretch it out. And then we're going to do the same thing for this leg and these arms. just going to fill in the head with a thin layer of a blue fuzz. Now we just need to fill in every one of these spots that doesn't have any fuzz with some blue. So once we've covered the entire thing with some blue fuzz, what we're gonna do is we're going to get our pom-poms and I'm just gonna spray mine with a little bit of water, get it nice and wet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the blue fuzz and stretch it out over the pom-pom and spray it. And then place one in the stomach. And then we're going to get the other pom-pom and do the same thing except for this one we are actually going to place this one in the head. Now to finish it up, what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the fuzz. We're going to stretch it out. 
and place it around the ball like this and kind of rub it into the ball so it's nice and secure. And then once you finish doing that, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fill the whole thing up. So we're just gonna fill in around the ball and then just make sure that we use the rest of the blue fluff. So I have just placed in all of the fluff and what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna make sure that the edges are cleaned up a little bit and it's okay if some of the fuzz kind of comes over because we can cut that off after we put it in the washer and dryer. So again, just wiping it away, kind of pushing it into the form like that. And then once you're done with that, what we're gonna do is we are going to get the back piece right here. Now, you can see on the back piece, we have the same thing that we had on the form, how we have these little dots and some of them aren't all popped out. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop these out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the clips and we're gonna take it and we're gonna put the peg through the hole on the side of the form that has the fuzz. So it pops out like that. And we're just gonna do this all the way along the sides. So for this one right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clip and kind of bend it a little bit. Stick it right here. Pull that piece through and then push the peg on the other side through like that. There we go. And now we're just going to take the form and place it over top, line it up, and then we're just going to push these pegs through this side. And we're gonna start with the joints first. So do the parts in between, like the arms, legs, the ears, and then fill in the rest of it. So here is what our fuzzies looks like when we have placed on all the clips. It looks really, really cool. So what we're going to do now is we are going to place it in the washing machine on hot with dark colors. And we're going to do that twice in a row. And of course, we will be using detergent as well. And then once it's done washing twice, we will put it in the dryer again on hot with dark colors. So I'm going to go ahead and wash and dry this and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I've just taken our husky dog fuzzies out of the dryer. Now, all I did was I placed it inside of a pillowcase, then I put it in the washing machine on hot with some detergent and an extra rinse, and I did that twice in a row. And then what I did is I placed it in the dryer on hot, so it is ready to take a look at. Now, the first thing that you would do is poke in the eyes and nose. Mine have already kind of fallen in, so that is really funny. Now, one of the things I do want to note is during the wash cycles, I did notice that some of these pieces were breaking off. I couldn't stick them back on there. So as you can see, it kind of ripped the form. And that is because he accidentally got out of my pillowcase that I had him in during the wash. I guess he came untied and he kind of went flying a little bit. But it should be fine. Doesn't really matter, I don't think, at this point. So let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the clips. So we've just taken off all of the clips. Again, you gotta make sure that the eyes and nose are pressed in and we'll lift up. So here is our husky dog. Wow, look at that. You see all this extra fuzz though? We're gonna need to get our scissors and cut that off. So let's get some scissors and we're just gonna cut off any extra fluff around the sides. So here is what our husky dog looks like now that I have trimmed off some of the fuzz around the sides. And he looks really, really cool. I love how well he came out. There's no pieces coming up. Everything is nice and sealed. And he just looks so cute. Look at that little face. 
looks really really awesome and I think it came out really really nice so what did you guys think of our husky dog fuzzies I thought he was really really cool and again I want to thank Orb Factory for sending this to me to review I think he was a lot of fun to put together and if you guys like this video don't forget to like subscribe comment and stay tuned for more fuzzies videos Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you like the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.